Good evening, everyone. It's really rather late at night, and I wanted to share with you all. Uh, uh, usually on Fridays, and today is Friday as I'm recording this, but it's really rather late, uh, and I'm about to go on my evening walk. But uh, I've been on, on, on a mission today trying to post as many videos as possible. But I, I'm going to show you a, a, a several problems. Every Friday at City Tutoring, we usually have the, uh, the, uh, the seekers come in. And what I mean by that is usually on Fridays, we get a lot of curious people coming in uh, and they want to either get tested or they, they, they tell me all about their uh, situation at school. And I wanted to share with you, we do not allow calculators at City Tutoring. Sorry, but we don't. We don't allow calculators, and therefore I'm going to show you the problems that I shared with uh, ninth graders, uh, people interested in the ninth grade class of high school this morning. And uh, I, I'm going to tell you that there was another, uh, the usual bloodbath. Uh, a lot of the, none of the students actually passed uh, the, 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 the manipulations that were required to solve the problem. Now, I'm only going to show you some of the problems. It was actually longer. But I'm only going to show you some of the problems so that you get an idea of, uh, of, of what we were asking, what kind of computation. Because we, we, cha we change, we, uh, we mix up uh, the, the, the examinations every week so that, of course, so that word doesn't spread, you know, and people don't start getting answers uh, inappropriately. So this was the test from this morning of people who wanted to uh, join City Tutoring. Now, of course, you can join City Tutoring, uh, but it, it all your level will always depend on how you do on uh, these kind of questions, on these examinations. We have uh, we filter out uh, people because, as you all know, uh, a lot of people these days, they believe that they are so qualified when in reality, perhaps in many cases, their schools or their colleges have overqualified them. They're not really truly qualified in, uh, as, and they're not as qualified as they thought they were. A lot of people come here and they think that they're so good at math. They think that they're honor students and in reality, they're failures in math. Uh, and that's what we fix. We fix that problem. You may be called an honor student in, in a watered down program, but you're not going to be called an honor student here if you're not a, if you're not truly uh, a rigorous student. So these are very basic computation questions that I would have expected people to know, uh, especially at the ninth grade level. But of course, uh, no one who at least not in this area, no one who came uh, was able to do it. Now, I want you if you're watching this video, I want you to try the problems. No calculator. If you're using a calculator, you're wasting my time and you're wasting your time. I'll know if you use a calculator. I want you to solve it on, on a piece of paper uh, as, as best as you can. I, they, it shouldn't be difficult, but they do require uh, a certain manipulation. So uh, I'm going to share with you, with you uh, that on the board. And then tomorrow, Saturday, I'm going to actually show you three cases of how you can solve uh, taking the cubic root of expressions without a calculator, of course. So tomorrow expect a, a lesson on cube roots and maybe even square roots, a bit, but I've, I've done so many on square roots. I wanna do cubic, uh, cube roots uh, and show you some really interesting properties about that. All right, so hopefully you can see now, uh, this is problem number one. These are all very, th th these are testing the order of operations and see if you can manipulate fractions. So have a look at one, two, and three. You can pause the video if you want to copy them, and then I'll show you the rest. These were on a piece of paper, just for context. People come into city tutoring the building. They they take a test, and this is all on paper. They have to show their work, of course. And we, we proctor, we monitor. No phones, no calculators, no laptops, no technology. This is straight up, we expect people to be able to do this on a piece of paper. This is not hard, folks. Come on. I had a student this morning. He said, I'm not interested in the academy. This is, this is, he said that this was tedious. I said, well, if it's so tedious, then, and if you think you know it, you should be able to solve it. He could, of course, he couldn't solve any of the problems. You know, a lot of people who believe themselves to be so smart, they end up being, uh, they don't realize just how, how big of a fool they are. They're, they're, they're making themselves be so ridiculous in front of others and they don't even realize it. A lot of the people, there are a lot of people like that these days. There are narcissists and people who believe that they're wonderful, people who believe that they know more than they actually know, just because they have a piece of paper that says they got straight A's in some mediocre public school. It's not gonna work here at City Tutoring. At City Tutoring, we expect this kind of rigor. All right, so this is one, two, and three.
Have a look at the rest. Four, five, and the last one here was six. There were several other expressions, by the way, but I only had time to put these because I have them on a piece of paper. Have a look at number four. Again, no calculator. If you are using a calculator, I don't want to hear from you. I'm not interested in you. I don't care about calculators or computers to, to solve these problems. Number five says, what condition is necessary so that the quotient of two fractions in simplest form, that is reduced form, which you cannot reduce them any, any further, lowest terms, so that they be equal to a whole number? And then the last question I, I put here is, this is actually was going to be a part of the lesson tomorrow, how to manipulate uh, expressions that have radicals. No, I don't want a decimal answer for number six. If you're giving me a decimal answer, you're wasting time. All right, so uh, let's see how you do. I'm going to show you one, two, and three again, just in case. Let me know in the, in the uh, comment section what your answers are. And let me know how you got to the answers. Again, this is, this is not even, this is very basic computation. And if you're struggling with this, that means that you have a serious problem. You have a faulty uh, foundation in arithmetic. And if you cannot handle these problems, you should not be, you should not even be near an algebra one course. You should be in pre-algebra at best, or even arithmetic. All right, have a good night, everyone. And tomorrow we'll follow up on the, uh, on the answers to these, as well as the principles about cubic roots.